What's up guys, I'm Blarg and Flarg, and today's video is where to place your Sova darts on a scent. This video is going to get you the best information on your enemy and how they are playing every single round. Before we get started, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for coming by and watching the video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below on YouTube and check out my other social media platforms like Twitter to see content updates and when I'll be doing different events and giveaways. Also, don't forget to check out my live stream over on Twitch. I stream every Tuesday and Saturday night. Of course, that is subject to a little bit of change because life happens. We all know that. Now let's get to what everybody's actually here for and show you some darts. Okay, guys. So this arrow coming on ascent towards the mid site and the market area is actually extremely exciting for me because just being able to find it was a really cool thing. In the upper elos, a lot of players like to hide inside the market area. Oh, you can't see my crosshair. Sorry, inside the market area or near the pizzeria here. Those areas are really hard to get arrows into without revealing yourself or your team's intentions to the enemy. So when I found this arrow, I was actually extremely excited. Let me show you how it goes. So let's make setting up this arrow as easy as possible. What I want you to do is line yourself up with the right side of the attacker side spawn headed towards mid or the A site. Walk all the way up to this brick line here, and then while facing straight down, make sure that your charge bar is just over the line to where the bricks are horizontal here. From that point, I want you to look up, up, all the way up. You'll notice these three Arbor Vitae at the top of this building. What I want you to do is line up the top edge of the charge bar, you see that? top edge of the charge bar with the very top of the tree and then make sure that the second diamond so the one on the right side indicating that you're going to have your arrow bounce twice make sure that that is lined up with the center of the top of the tree here so you can see not off to the side here you want to line it up so that this diamond is directly going up through the middle of the tree it sounds a lot more complex than it is it's really not that hard to set up once you guys try it a time or two after you do that like I said, make sure you have it so that it's bouncing two times. This is actually extremely important because most arrows you don't really bounce that much anymore. You kind of just trick shot them, but you need the bounce to add to this trick shot. What it's going to do is it's going to hit the ground in the center of the mid area where the defenders are behind their wall. It's then going to bounce twice to get up and over the roof into the top of the market and drop through the tarp there. So from here, all you have to do is charge up your arrow about 90% Make sure that you don't hit it all the way or it's gonna go too far. And if you go too little, it's gonna miss, but it'll still be okay because your arrow's going to land in the mid area and will still give you a lot of information no matter what. As you can see, your arrow landed inside the market here and is revealing the enemy inside the market and the pizzeria. Now this is what the arrow looks like while defending from the market area. It's such an awesome and unconventional arrow that I just about guarantee you, as long as somebody's standing here on defense, you will catch them off guard. Now here's a great alternative to the mid arrow if you're not worried about market specifically. This arrow will cover all of the close mid area here. It's gonna cover pizzeria, and it's also gonna cover the CT entrance to mid as well, which a lot of people like to opt from that angle because it's an extremely long distance where a Vandal or a Phantom will not be as effective. I also wanted to give you this arrow because sometimes you just need to mix things up and you can't do the same arrow over and over and over again. So if you're mixing between these two different arrows every match, if you need that information, it's gonna be a great way to keep the enemy on their toes and keep them not ready for a fight or for the arrow coming in. The best way to line up this arrow is from this corner here. So pushed right up against it and then take your aimer straight up until the left diamond that counts how many bounces your arrow will do is right on the bottom lip of the building and it is going vertically lined up straight with this lamppost. You want it to go just on the outside edge of the lamppost here. After you get that, you charge up to just over two bars. I know that's a lot of charge, but remember just over two bars of full charge and fire. If fired correctly, as you can see, this arrow will actually land on top of the building and be extremely difficult to destroy while still revealing enemies in the CT spawn location, the pizzeria, and holding the close mid gateway. 
This is what the arrow looks like when it lands. And you can see it covers all of this area that I showed you. The pizzeria, the backside of the spawn here, and of course, the gateway towards mid. It's an amazing arrow. The only problem is, is that in upper elos, it won't cover your market area, which a lot of people like to hide right around this corner here, which is why I also showed you that other arrow. So on the approach to the A site on Ascent, there's actually a really good spot where you should stop off as Sova to shoot your arrow. This location is gonna give you a great amount of information and show you anywhere that the enemy is hiding on the entire A site, except for underneath heaven. But it will show you on top of heaven, behind the generator, behind the double boxes, the single box, and anywhere else they are on site. All you have to do to set up this arrow is run forward here, and stop right next to the front of this door frame and look straight up and make sure that your aimer is just at the corner of the flagpole and the roof here. It's actually really important on this one and I'll show you why later, but there's a pretty good margin for error on where you could miss this one and not get it right. After this, you charge it to about two and a half bars and shoot it off from there. As you can see on the minimap, it lands right on top of the building here, and we are revealing enemies in heaven and on the rest of the site. Now, this is what the arrow looks like when it's not good. As you can see, it lands on the tilted side of the roof here, so it's actually not revealing anything on the site. When you shoot your arrow, you want it to land on the flat edge on top of the roof here. That is why it's so important to get my aimer exactly where I was showing you. Otherwise, it's gonna look like you are hitting it when you're really not. And there you go right on top of the roof so that it's revealing the entire site. And this is what the arrow looks like when you're actually defending on the site and you can see where it actually reveals. Everywhere on the site, including below underneath the generator down here it reveals. Now as you can see it reveals the whole site, but I do suggest that you go into the practice tool and try this one a time or two before you just run into a match thinking that you're going to hit it because as much as I gave you a great lineup for it, it is still a very difficult arrow to hit. And sometimes you're gonna shoot it out thinking that it's perfect when it's really not, unless you have that lineup down to muscle memory. Okay guys, for the next arrow, we're gonna attack the B site. What I want you to do is I want you to run up to this little hut here in the B lobby and jump up onto the box and run up nice close to the hut here. Once you're on the box here, you want to line your aimer up above the hut and just outside of this little space time warp to the right side. Get the top left corner of your charge bar just off the edge of it. From here, you charge your arrow about halfway up. So about one and a half bar and let go. Where this is going to land is as you can see, right on top of this box at the back side of the site here. As you can see, the arrow lands right on top of the double stacked box here and gives you an immense amount of information. This will tell you if anybody is hiding in this corner here, if anybody's hiding in the back corner, or behind this double box in the center of the site. It also reveals anybody on the catwalk on the nearby wall, which is extremely important because a lot of people while defending the B site like to defend from this point on the catwalk right here behind this painting, because they're actually able to wall bang through that wall and get a lot of damage off for free. This arrow also reveals the back site in most locations, but not all. Since it's right on top of that box there, it reveals all the way inside here and around to this corner here. Another nice spot that it reveals is back in this corner behind the hut here. This is extremely important because it's a super safe spot for a defender to be where they can take a good fight and still get away without losing their life. So while defending from the A site, if you want to probe and get some information on whether the enemy's going to split towards mid or even come towards the A site, it's extremely easy to do this. You don't even have to move far. From the spawn, walk up this ramp and stop right along the tarp here, and then put your aimer about right below that bar right there. Doesn't really matter too much to the left or the right. Honestly, the right side's better than the left because it's going to get you further recon towards the mid area. Now without any bounces, charge your arrow to about two and a half bars and then let go. What this is gonna do is it's gonna go all the way down and hit this wonderful giant building wall 
at the backside of the A lobby. This is like called Gelato or something weird with some creepy gelatin monsters on the front of it. But it's an awesome wall for catching your arrows and even gives you a great angle on looking towards the mid area and A. It covers both of them completely and is easy to hit. I like this arrow a lot because as you can see, it's gonna catch all the people going towards the A site and the majority of people even going towards mid before they get out and peak that angle. Now, if you're defending the B site and you wanna get information on the enemies attacking B or going from B lobby towards mid, what you can do is if you start here on the site, line yourself up on top of this wheel right here, and then take your aimer to the second to top window. You see there's a window right here, and then there's the very top window. What you want is this one right below the top window. Take your aimer just to the side of it there and add one charge of bounce. So with one bounce added to it, charge your arrow about halfway through. So one and a half bars. Let go. And it's going to bounce off of the clock tower and right into the center of the courtyard. This arrow is gonna do you a lot of good in pushing into the B tunnel area and the B connector to mid. It's gonna give you all that information in one shot. As you can see, bouncing this bolt off the clock tower will land it right in the middle of the courtyard here, which gives you great information on anybody heading into the tunnels or even splitting towards mid from the B site. Thank you so much for watching my Sova Ascent Dark Guide. I really hope that you're able to put this information to good use and win some matches, guys. Thank you guys for watching and you guys have a great day.